but it flies fantastic. Look at it. CG's better. All right, guys, we're here at the field with the Grippen. We have V1 Grippen. Canards are pinned, hopefully in a good position. Uh, I would call that pretty neutral, but who the heck knows what's gonna happen here. CG is a mystery, canards are a mystery. The thing is small, uh, higher wind lo wing loading, but it's super light, 815 grams all the way up, or all up weight. Um, so it is drizzling today. It is warmer, it's like 35 degrees, no wind. You can see the flag over there. Uh, we're good to go there, so um, I think we just throw it up. I'm more worried about my transmitter getting wet. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Ooh, I just noticed the trim is all jacked up. Okay. Oh no, it's not. Okay, just had to move them around a little bit. I'm gonna go slight up trim because uh, I think uh, left. Oh, no, I have them. I have the, the controls reversed. Holy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I screwed that up? How embarrassing would that have been? I did it upside down this morning. And doing things upside down is going to come back to bite you. <laughs> this is how stupid I am sometimes. Okay. Let me throw these back in. I'm gonna switch aileron one with aileron two. All right, let's see. Now I reverse. Now I servo set up. There we go. <laughs> okay, let me get this buttoned up again. Oops, let me get this buttoned up again. Try and cover my transmitter because it is getting wet. I mean, it's it's not raining, raining. It's like drizzling, raining. I don't I don't know if that's an issue uh, for the transmitter. I would think that they would have a little bit of waterproofing in there. Okay, now we're ready to go. Uh, it is slightly tail heavy from the bumps I have, but the bumps that I've been putting in um, in these planes, they've been slightly nose heavy. Let me just do a one quick little thrust test, holding the tail. Feels okay, not spectacular. I might have to clean up. Might, I might want to get the ESC up into the, uh, what do you call it? Get the ESC up into the, uh, the cockpit area because I have it kind of just in the, in the airstream and that, that never helps. So, all right, let's just chuck it. Whoop. Chuck it up, ready? Oh, all right, it's nose heavy. Oh, I hope I didn't break it. I really hope I didn't break this thing. Well, that's a testament to the design there. It's not broken, but I have a cheater hole full of snow. So um, I'm gonna give this thing another toss. Uh, it literally, I, I just literally, I. I had snow falling out of this thing uh, <laughs> from the from the initial uh, hard landing there, and uh, I'm hoping that I don't eat too much snow on this next one. Oh, seems okay. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and toss this thing up again. Hopefully, we get a flight here. Hopefully, I can save it before oh I just ate a whole bunch of snow I'd basically like chewed up a battery just <laughs> trying to get the snow out of this thing all right I'm gonna give this another shot all right ready Underpowered, but it flies. <laughs> underpowered and nose heavy, maybe? Can't tell. Why is it so underpowered? 
But it flies so good. Seriously. This thing is so underpowered, but look how good it flies. I'm gonna be nice and smooth because I don't want to ruin the airframe. It flies fantastic. It's really underpowered. I have to clean up the, um, the intake. All right, that's what it is. Wow, it flies so nice. It flies so good, it just took a while to get up to speed. Um, really, really strange. But look at, look at the, look at the incredible stability. Grippin flies awesome. It's still nose heavy. I'm, I'm still holding a good bit of, um, of elevator here. I might be fighting the canards. That could be an issue. The, you know, the canard situation is such that it could be creating a bunch of, uh, of uh, drag, parasitic drag just from the, but now it's flying so good. Maybe I just had a bunch of snow stuck in the, uh, in the EDF initially, and now it's all cleared out. But what a fantastic flying airplane. If you, you know what this reminds me of, I'm gonna bring it by close. It reminds me of the F-16. <laughs> it rolls great. Um, it, it really does. It reminds me of the F-16. I'm gonna bring it in for a landing just in case the battery is, uh, is getting a little low. Um, try and bring it in as, as, as easy as I can here. Nice and smooth. All right, that was good. That was a great first flight, I have to say. The, uh, the Gripen is an airworthy design. This is V1. Okay. I'm gonna go toss this guy up. I moved the CG back another quarter inch on the 1500 battery. My, can, my transmitter's completely wet right now. All right, that one might have a little more punch. Maybe that was a hurt battery. All right, let's give this another shot here. Let's get it up in the air. Uh-oh, get it. Yes, it's still shooting snow out. <laughs> Good save, Kyle. <laughs> it's still a dog, I don't, I don't know. It's, it was shooting snow out of, the, um, out of the exhaust. And I'm still holding, oh, I'm still holding up elevator so this has to be a canard thing but look at the flying though <laughs> look at the twists or the rolls i'm sorry such a great flying airplane oh man look at this thing it flies just so nice and it's got so much good Good authority, inverted. <laughs> it recovers great. Wow. So, but it's still nose heavy. Um, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run the 1800 in it. Oh no, maybe I can't run the 1800 because I think it's just too nose heavy to even run it. I don't have, a way to stick it in there um like velcro wise back far enough uh and i didn't bring any velcro with me uh oh i hope this battery is not cooked i, I ruined three or four batteries and i don't want to ruin another one here let me get it in here i don't want to go chasing this thing nice and smooth good okay i mean a v1 guys a v1 gripping with canards to fly this good first flight that is insanity that is just crazy i am so happy with this thing um not ready I don't think I'm ready to release it. I mean, 
technically, oop, my fan's running. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm ready to release it because I haven't, all the snow coming out of it. I haven't, I just haven't run this thing with the, with the canards, but it really flies super, super nice. It's got so much snow in there. Oh my God. I do need a bigger cheater hole, I think. I think I'm definitely restricted on the, on the intake air volume. Intake air volume's definitely the issue here. Uh, I have a big fat ESC kind of in the middle of the airstream. It's probably crooked and that's why I can't see it in there. But um, I was rushing this morning and I didn't want to miss my opportunity to get this thing. Okay, just wanted to blow out anything else that was in there. I don't want to wreck this plane being stupid and trying to fly it again, but the CG has to go way back. Let's just try. All right, let me try and put all the electronics as far back as I can get them. Like stick, stick everything as far back as possible here. Everything is wet. Everything has snow and ice in it. This is not good. You guys probably can't even see what I'm doing. You're just probably looking at the at the fuselage. Um, oh, I can. I do have space. I have a. I have Velcro back here because that's how I keep my wires managed. Let's see what we got with the 1800 here. Let's see what we got. I bet you could put a 50 millimeter in this thing and it would fly amazing. Let's see what we got in terms of CG here. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good on that CG. I'm gonna see if I can get it back a little further. I shoved it back as far as I could. I'm even gonna put the rubber band back, try and get all the weight that I can as far back as possible. Okay, come on. This is really not fun being out here in the complete wet rain. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oops, all righty. Okay, I can, my transmitter is like, All right, I did another. I, I really, really would like to get one more flight with the, with the CG back a little further. So, let's try it. Ooh. Keep shooting out, uh, shooting out pieces of snow. <laughs> All right, this is th uh, third time I might crash it because uh, I've tested fate so many times throwing this thing and it just doesn't even, just doesn't even go. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is a dog though. It is a dog, but it flies fantastic. Look at it. CG's better. But once it gets going, It's, the weird thing is that it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fly like it's heavy. It flies light, but the power system is just not getting what it needs. So, cheater hole, here we go. I hope my, uh, my GoPro isn't completely covered with rain. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> I'm just sitting out here like an idiot in the rain. I also have the Monster Vig in here, so I do want to also get that up. What a great flying plane. All 
All right, let me let me bring this in. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, salvage this thing. I don't want it to die, and I'm going to get the monster vegan out for a flight. And beautiful. Look at that gripping. Wow, so cool. All right, so now at least we know an 1800 battery all the way in the back works. So. Maybe push the fan back uh, a little bit. Oh no, um, push the fan forward maybe in the hull. I'm gonna do a few things with it. But overall, great great day with this with this one, with the Gripen. Um, good video and, uh, oh, it's filled with snow. I'm gonna cut this here and then maybe I'll, I'll get a flight in with the, uh, the Vigan, the Monster.